Hey, what's going on? How you guys doing? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going good. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to y'all too. Yeah, it's cute. Happy oh, holidays. Appreciate it. Big dog, man. Up, everyone, everyone thinks I'm so small <laughs> because they come over and see you and it's like, whoa, he's huge, man. Can I say? And I'm like, I promise I'm not that small, man. I'm just standing next to a guy that's six foot, 300 pounds, man. 300 is being generous. <laughs> that's generous. <laughs> Uh, six five, like three thirty. Yeah. My dad was six five. Okay, yeah. Like, hard to believe. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, big dog? How you doing, bro? What's going on? You got? Yeah. Y'all got food yet? Y'all already got something. Okay, we're gonna back seat. Yeah. Okay. The train. You want to get your picture? Oh, I've been, man. There you go. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Cool. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hey, man. Hey, hey. Keep on winning, fellas. Appreciate sir. you. Hey, how's it going? I'm good, how are you guys doing? Happy Thanksgiving. It's coming through. What position you play, dude? Left guard, right tackle. Ooh, O-line? That's where the action's at, dude. What's your name? Mason. Mason, nice to meet you, man. Anybody out there? <clears throat> there it is. Good job, bud. What's your favorite part about football, buddy? Walking and tackling. Yeah. <laughs> you like hitting people? <laughs> I do too, man. I do too. How y'all doing? Good. Right. Here it is. Right. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We need a now milk. Let's get a milk. I got you, miss. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I'll put this on the floor. Appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving. You ever want to seek you out running back? You ever thought about that? I played a little bit of running back, believe it or not. Put me in. Yeah. Tell them to put you on story artist, man. Get the touchdown. <laughs> I had, a, uh, I had a play in my fifth grade year called Tower of Power. I took 80 yards. Yeah, man. Hit a stiff arm, spin move, all of that. Six. It's all right, you ready for Monday? Because we all are ready for Monday. Can't get here fast enough. You can't get here fast enough. We're ready. We'll be ready to play tomorrow. We can play tomorrow. Uh -huh. Just lace them up. Just put it down anywhere. We'll play in the parking lot if we need to. Oh my gosh, so excited. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, man. It's Chiefs and Eagles, two best teams in football, going to square off. You got the Kelsey storyline still uh, with, the, with the Kelsey brothers, Super Bowl rematch, maybe a Super Bowl preview. As everybody knows, the Chiefs and the Eagles are playing each other. That's right. It's happening. It's happening in Arrowhead on Monday night, actually. against Philadelphia. They are going to be motivated to beat you. They got a lot on the line just like you do. I mean, who doesn't want to see the rematch of the Super Bowl, right? For me, I really don't think about it as a Super Bowl rematch. I think of this as a, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles in 2023. teams are different than they were last year no matter how similar they are it's never the same so I think about it like you know this doesn't have much bearing from what happened a year ago
So the Eagles win the toss and defer. Kansas City will have the football first, but the elements tonight, they are nasty. Kansas City has the football at the 36-yard line of the Eagles. Ball is snapped by Creed Humphrey. Pass is caught at the 30 by Tony on a quick slant. They're going to throw a quick pass. Rice at the right side. 20 skips a tackle. 15. Rice is shoved out of bounds. A broken tackle gets down to the 10-yard line and a 14-yard catch and run by Rashi Rice. Under center is Mahomes. They're going to run it right side. It goes to Pacheco off tackle, and he'll blast his way get all the way down to the three-yard line and pick up eight yards. Third down and goal to go for the Chiefs at the Eagle three. Ball snapped on the near hash. Mahomes holding it, holding it. He'll scramble. Throws it late. Wide open back in the end zone. Touchdown. Kansas City. Justin Watson with the catch and a great throw by Mahomes for a three-yard touchdown. Hey, how you doing? First and ten tie. Eagles have the ball at their own 39-yard line. Hertz crouches down, takes the snap at his belt, comes near side. A.J. Brown with a catch in front of Legereus Sneed and gains eight yards. First and ten Eagles at the Kansas City 49. 12.50 to go in the first half. They're going to give it to Gainwell, and he's hit. Spun to the ground. Willie Gay Jr. was right in his face mask. Whoa, Willie. How are you, Willie? Second and nine, Eagles at the Kansas City 48. Now they motion. A slot to the near side. Snap back to Hurts. He faces a blitz. Hit from the backside and throws it. Intercepted. Intercepted at the 30-yard line of the Eagles by Sneed. And the blitz forces Hurts into the pick, his ninth of the season. They're going to say the Chiefs have it, and he was down by contact. Here we go. Let's go. Watch out, watch out, watch out. First time, Wet. Nice job. Great play, buddy. Great play. 7 7 tie. 3 0 8 left second quarter. Third and two, Kansas City at the Eagle 37 yard line. And up goes Pacheco, breaks it, 30-yard line, in the middle of the field of the 25, and spins the football to the ground after he's tackled after a gain of 12 to the Eagle 24. Quick hitter by the Chiefs, right behind Tooney and Creed Humphrey. Snap back to Mahomes in the shotgun, moves to his left, being chased by two Eagles. Mahomes holds it, now it gets free up the sideline and stays in bounds. He'll be shoved out of bounds after scrambling to the Eagle 11 yard line. 14 yard scramble. Chiefs have third down and three at the Eagle four with an empty backfield momentarily. Here comes McKinnon in motion. Pass this shot, Todd Kelsey, touchdown! Travis Kelsey from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have a Kelsey touchdown, his 74th. The Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl 57 rematch, 17 to 7, 6:13 to go in the third quarter. First and 10 Eagles at midfield. Hurts under center this time, and they bring it on a jet sweep. They come around on a broken tackle. And it's the 25-yard line to the 20. It's DeAndre Swift all the way down to the Kansas City 13. Trent McDuffie saves a touchdown. How hard is it to keep the mindset positive in those spots? Man, that's football. Crowd is into it, third and five. It's a team sport. Chiefs again will dog. It's a quarterback run. Hurts inside the five. Touchdown is eighth of the year. Everything's got to work cohesively. And the Eagles with a PAT could be back within three. Kansas City's lead is now 17 to 14. I know how hard the guys work at the end of the day. In the first half, you can see the guys moving down the field. You can see we've had spurts where we've played good football offensively. Kansas City first and 10 at the 14 of Philadelphia. 17-14 Chiefs, early fourth. Mahomes goes to Kelsey at the 10. He fumbles the ball at the eight yard line and the Philadelphia Eagles have it at the 10 yard line. 
Now the Eagles can take the lead after stopping the Chiefs again. Seven minutes to go in the game. Eagles, new set of downs at the 42 of the Chiefs. Hertz will throw again. Retreating, looking left, throwing right, deep. He wants Smith, who makes the sliding catch, and down at the Kansas City one-yard line. And so the Eagles take the lead at 6.20 to go in the game. And now the Chiefs offense has to respond after they've had opportunities. Second down, 10. Chiefs down by four. Snap to Mahomes, retreating. He's unloading it long. He's got Valdez Scantling, and he cannot hang on to the ball. He drops the ball in the end zone. All you can do is go, go to work and try to get better and better. Now the Chiefs are down to fourth and 25 from their own 34, trailing 21 to 17. Mahomes retreats. He will throw it right side. The pass is going to be broken up. Waiting for the ball was Justin Watson, but the Eagles had four different guys there. And the Eagles can go to knees here and win the game. Obviously, I'm disappointed we lost today. I like a lot of the guys in the locker room, everybody in the locker room. And so guys will come back to work and know we're going to play a tough Raiders team this next week. Every loss stings. I mean, especially when you come into an organization that they've been the top of the top. Great job. Yeah, you too. Best of luck. The rest yeah, of luck. Same. Yeah. Same. Same. I know, for one, I want to keep that standard and keep that tradition going. So. Some we can clean up, you know, some we can learn from and got to just move on from it. Jason, you want to come over here? So what kind of ducks do you think we're going to see today? A mallard. Okay. Hen or drake? Both. Both? Okay. Well, I hope so. Black duck, air tail, Ooh. And okay. So how many are we going to get? Uh, maybe a hundred. A hundred? <laughs> I think the game warden would be visiting us if we got a hundred. I think that'd be over our limit, bud. Mark, I need to try out my chatter and see if it's any good. Yeah, you do that and I'll do the calling. You say tuka tuka or chuka chuka? Tuka tuka tuka. Tuka tuka. Just do that. Perfect. Uh oh, shooting. Jace. Did you hear that? Oh yeah, what's that mean? Ducks. You know what? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> that one will always get you. Mm -hmm. right. Hey Jace, you know the other good part about Mr. Mark's blind? You don't have to look into the wind. So you got this wind blocker right here behind you. See this? It's blocking that cold north wind. So you stay nice and cozy. You would have been kind of cold at that game last night, wouldn't you? But instead you were home, nice and warm. Do you know it was raining at the game? It was. It was windy, rainy, and cold. What are these up, are these up high? Look at this big group. Teal? Bunch of teal, yeah. Look, look right here. See him? Way up there. Six more, seven, eight more. Right here, right here. Light him up. Kelly! 
go. Got one. Nice shoot. Yep, got one. They go from close to not even close. Real quick. Look at there, she found it. Oh, Jace, check it out. Look at there. Greenleaf. Girl, Cali. What do you think here? Tell us what it is, Jace. What is that, Jace? Yeah, you got that right. You want him? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The okay, duck here man. he comes. Yeah. Got him. Nice. Hey, look. Hey, look how pretty, look how pretty those colors are. Isn't that neat? Look at them in the sun. Isn't that cool? In a week like this, where tomorrow, you know, we're right back to work, getting ready for Vegas, it's uh, not a lot of time off. So take today, hit the reset button, and then, you know, get back to work tomorrow morning. A lot of times in season, you're just so busy and you kind of have your nose to the grind, you know, after the season, then it kind of, you know, you really get to reflect on career season and, and uh, definitely it's, it's been incredible. I mean, Coach Reed says it at the end of every year, you know, this is the last time this group will all be together. Yeah. You know, thankful to be in a position where you can keep going year to year and you get to experience that and, you know, raise a family and go from no kids to one kid to three kids and watching them grow up and getting to be a part of it, it's, it's pretty incredible. I think it's one of those deals when you're raised doing it, it's just where you want to be. It's just away from everything that's, you know, the chatter, the busy, the bustle and hustle of life. Right at us, come on. You get out here and everything's just simple, but yet there's a challenge. You know, you're excited to beat a wild animal at their game. Three, bam! Hey, one, two, three. <laughs> That's awesome. Jace, we got at least four. Yeah, give me five. We got four, we got four dude. Where is Callie? Huh? She's Where is Callie? Out. She's right here, okay. She's probably only gonna get one. Good girl! Good girl! Hey, what do you think, Jace? Great hunt or what? Great hunt? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, you want to eat those ducks? Yeah. Jace wants to eat them. Now, for me, having the opportunity to take Jace, I mean, that's just so much fun. And you really get to relive it all over again and it kind of reminds you of your childhood and, you know, those that, um, you know, dad, uncles, grandpa, you know, that took me when I was little, now I get to do that to him. And to see him light up and enjoy it, you know, you see that, you see that flame in his eyes that he's excited to, to get out and do it. Hey, Jace, look right here, here they come. Check it out, you want to see ducks? Daddy. Yeah. You don't get a jump. I can't jump that high. Yeah. Why don't you try it? Tell me how it works out. Oh, she's talking to you. Listen. I think they're saying do not grab me. Out of the air. They're tough to shoot, but you really have a tough time to grab them. Alright, Jason, you stay here. We'll be back tomorrow.
here in late November, 12 of the 16 AFC teams think they have a real shot for the postseason. And today the Chiefs are playing the silver and black to renew their bitter rivalry. But this is now a Raider team that is repurposed under interim head coach Antonio Pierce. And now the Las Vegas-based team has won four straight home games. Let's focus on today and be better versions of ourselves today. And I promise you, if we do that, we will come out victorious, yes, baby. Lord. Today is a special day, man. Sir. It's the next step on the left to what we want to be. This is you. This is your game. You dominate from first play to last play. And then we gonna round around you. And let's dominate, man. We know what we gotta do. Yeah. Every single step, everything you got. Play for the guy who's you and find a way to win the game. Let's go. Let's go, Chiefs on three. One, two, three. Chiefs. You know, if you were sitting in our team meeting, Coach Reed's up there and he's addressing the team. The first thing he talked to him, our first goal obviously, is to win the AFC West. And then the other things, if you can do that, kind of fall into place. First and 10 at the 25, a right side run to Jacobs. And he gets a push and a gain of seven yards to the 32. Every one of those AFC West games count as two. Stays in the pocket, throws long left, caught. Devontae Adams at the 40 of the Chiefs and up the sideline and out of bounds at the Kansas City 34. I would say the challenges that this division presents are significant. There's no easy day out of that mix. He's got him. Myers, touchdown. It's an 18-yard touchdown pass. Catch and run by Jacoby Myers. It's like playing a playoff game. So none of them are easy, and they're not going to be easy, and they shouldn't be easy, because everyone is trying to knock us off. I mean, as you look at it in the division, I mean, they're gunning for us, and we know it. Oh, he's got the big hole! He's into the secondary! They can't get him! You can kiss him goodbye! They're going to do everything they can to try to win that game, and we have to do the same. The Chiefs' defense has allowed the fewest big plays of any defense in the NFL. They've allowed two big ones already. I want all of our eyeballs and ears right now. Everybody tuned in. If we want to get this thing done, and the only way we're going to do is get it done together. Now listen to me. All correctable things. They're just mistakes that we're making. It's time for us to go out. Everybody do your job. Right? Don't do anything else. And be relentless at it. And we'll get this thing turned around. Now listen. we got to stop the run. Make that a mindset. Right? That's on us, D-Line. We need guys up front in our base defense. That's on us, D-Line. Right? Yeah. Is everybody on board? Yeah. Let's just go out and do that. Yeah. Yeah. Three yeah. Marks on. One, two, three. Yeah. Third down and goal to go. Rainers lead 14 to nothing. We're going to give it to Pacheco. And he slams into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Pacheco would not be denied. No, it Creed Humphrey. We hit it together. We hit it together. Let's go. No matter who gets it, we got to get in there. Together, five. Let's go together. Now maybe the defense can use the momentum. Chiefs trailing 14 to 7. Handoff comes to the near side, and Derek Nottie says hello. <laughs> It's about that time. It's about that time. It's about that time. I won't talk. You see Jalen do it? I won't talk. Well done by the Chiefs. They're finally going to get the Raiders off the field. The thing to keep in your hip pocket, the Chiefs are number one in the NFL in scoring in the last two minutes of the first half. Throws for Kelsey, corner out, 35 yard line. Kelsey just caught one for 28 at first down. First and 10 of the Raider 30. They'll run a toss. They're going to bring it on end around and a flip back to Mahomes. Who wants to throw it near side? Kelsey at the 10 and inside the 10 and down to the 7. Oh, that was a beautiful play. First and goal, Chiefs. Chiefs will throw it. Third down and goal to go. Now Mahomes. 
and throws it late. Left side, caught, touchdown, Kansas City, Justin ah. Watson. I know. And the Chiefs tie the game at 14 after being absolutely creamed in the first quarter and a half of this game. Come on now. This is the possession. The third quarter, first possession. Round five right here. They came out swinging, now we finish it. Round five right here. This possession. All right, here we go. Right hash, right hash. Has been the villain for five consecutive weeks. Mahomes to throw, pumping in the middle. He'll scramble to the left on the angle. Now shovels it late, caught it by Rice at the 20. It's always about getting started, a hot start in the second half. And when you consider the last three games not scoring any points in the second half, it starts with how you come out of the locker room. This is key right now. Pacheco reaches the football out. Give it to him, no, he's down at the one. Right now, the game being tied, if we want to win, we have to score. Chiefs first and goal to go at the one. Pacheco will go in the middle. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. And Pop has popped it twice in the sweet nectar. And the Chiefs have their first lead of the game. 17 trying to be friendly, low me to sleep. Trying to be Mr. Nice. Third and four. <laughs> Passed on the near side. It's going to be wide and incomplete. They get the Raiders off the field now for a third consecutive drive, this time on a three and out. Hey, feel that sense of urgency, boys. Feel that sense of urgency. Yeah, let's go, boys. Now they're going to throw a crossing pattern. Caught Rice, 30, angling 25 up the sideline. 15, inside the five. Touchdown, Kansas City. A 39-yard crossing pattern. And then zooming up the sideline, Rashi Rice with one of the biggest plays this season for the Chiefs. They have the coveted second half, two possession lead. will go for it on fourth and one at their own 19 yard line with the Chiefs leading 28-17. Fourth and one. Jacobs the call, look out, look out, down he goes! The Chiefs bury Josh Jacobs and this Kansas City Chiefs defense brings a truckload of dirt and the truck driver, Drew Tranquil. Way to work, all y'all boys, way to work. Good job, good job, way to go, way to work your ass. Big ass play right there, 9-5. Great job. Just a great effort in all three phases of the game, Mitch. You played a, a Raiders team that played pretty quality football, coming back in the way we were, and specifically to open the second half. How are you, man? Good, always good to see you. Oh, you, you too. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Yeah, did you tell, see him? Did you see him? Yeah, tell, tell him I said hello, okay? Love you, man. All right, be good. Chiefs kind of created their own energy, stayed with it, stayed poised. This is a better win than people might think, considering the circumstances. And now it goes from matriculate the ball down the field to times yours. Because Andy Reid, Big Red, has become the winningest coach in Kansas City Chiefs history with his 125th victory for the Chiefs kingdom. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Go up. Vegas, baby. <laughs> All right, hey, listen, uh, hey, great job. Uh, that's a hard thing to do coming off a Monday night game. Big, you know, two good teams playing each other, and and we came up short. You did a great job of rallying yourselves to get this thing right. right? Yes, this was so important, I can't tell you. Yes, and then we fix this and we get go ahead and take care of business here, get a little rest, and then we're right back on it. All right, the next week it's a normal week. Back to a normal week and we roll. Congratulations, though, man. Congratulations. All right. Hey, hey, how about those cheese? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So, so first off, congratulations. Great performance today. Uh, our special head coach here moved past Hank Stram for number one in franchise history. <laughs> He is also 
the only NFL coach to be number one for two different franchises. Yeah. Hey, let's take a knee. <laughs> Andy Reid became the winningest coach of a franchise times two. The only coach in NFL history to be number one in wins for two different teams. The thing I've always appreciated about him is, is that he's just very even keel. He's never too high, never too low. Like when you see Coach Reed, it doesn't matter how good something's going, how bad something's going. I'm out of big boy. I'm out of big boy. Let's go. He's solid as a rock. He doesn't get too excited when things are great. And the most important thing, he doesn't get too low. He's super highly competitive and loves the process. He attacks it every day like it's his first year in coaching. The last 10 years have been nothing short but unbelievably amazing here in Kansas City. It's unbelievable what we're living in right yeah, now. Yeah. The man allows you to be yourself, let your personality show. There's no other coach I want to work with or for than Coach Reed. He allows us on defense to do our job and run with it. You can never learn enough from him, the way he handles things. Whether it's what you learn on the football field, the X's and O's, the details behind it, the way he develops you as a coach, I love working for him.